Hi, friends. Welcome to Battle of Tarlis. I'm going to turn the volume down because to me it's really loud. To you, it shouldn't be, I hope, if I have done all my settings properly. Now, welcome, dear friends, to Battle of Tarlis. I played this before. I played through this before. I've been told there are some updates. I suddenly realized that, um, I, I wonder if I should delete my save, but I will just, we're here to check out Battle of Tarlis and see what's up. All right, there's been some updates to Battle of Tarlis, so I've been told. There have been some updates. Nope. That's okay. I'm told there's been some updates to this game. I... Okay, I see I did, I did restart level one. Okay, so that's good. So, the side effect of me, um, you know, we'll make it level... 11. Sure. Side effect of me uninstalling the game was that I am actually back at level 1. Great! That's probably a good thing. Maybe that's why I can't destroy the door. Uh, or, uh... Alright, let's uh, break down that door. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a... There's a there's some coming after me. Uh oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Fine. We'll start at level one. We'll start at level one. <laughs> okay. So I see. I see. I was told that there have been some uh, updates to textures or something. So, we're going to find those updates and see things like these. Meh. Get out of here. I do believe, if I remember correctly, that these minotaurs this minotaur did not look like that before did not look like that before no i have a shield Oh yeah, that does take me But Oh yeah, look, these guys. I think they have new skins too. So that's cool. That's cool. I can see there are some changes that have been made. I can see there are some... Would you... Could you... Sir. Thank you. It's also tend to okay. It's all the same. It's all the same. That's okay. So I do I, I do like the new skins. I do like the new skins on the enemies. Very cool, very neato. Gained a level. Uh, P, the P key. Movement speed, attack speed, other speeds. Uh, 
Uh, movement speed first. It's just so I can get from point A to point B as fast as possible. I should get some life regeneration just because of those guys. Not very nice they are. Weapon, got something new. I'm still perfectly happy to just take whatever I pick up. I am, I'm a terrible person, and we'll probably get into this at some point. Um, I mean, I don't know how other people feel about never using this the shop. Ever. But I'm kind of one of those people. I never use the shot. We'll, we'll play some... Uh, oh, back on my old stream, I played Dun uh, Diablo. Uh, maybe we'll play it again. We'll definitely play Diablo 2, that's for sure. I got so many things that I ever wanted to do in that game. And, well, they made Diablo 2 resurrected, so... May as well, um, may as well spend my time playing old games instead of new ones, right? Seems, seems decent. Seems like a fine, fine choice, fine opportunity, fine thing that I could do. Okay, found a thing. That's not better than what I have. Get him. Got him, good. Awesome, I found an axe. It's still just level one. Everything's level one. Ah! Rah! It's okay. But I mean, like, the point of this game is to go out and kill things, right? So why wouldn't I want to get the things from the things that I've killed? makes sense to me and uh yeah it, uh, boy i can't wait i cannot wait that's an orc is that really an orc gotcha i can't wait we will we will be playing some diablo 2 at some point and um yeah no i'm just not gonna use the store unless it's to gamble Unless it's the gambling store. Because why wouldn't I want to... Oops. There we go. Why wouldn't I want to um, gamble on getting set items or unique items or other random things like that? Other than that, yeah. No. Anything right out of the store is pretty much useless. It's got to be some rare or unique or a set item. Absolutely. I look forward to it. I sure do. It's going to be a lot of fun. It will be. We'll see what we'll see when we get there. We'll see when we get there. First, I have to get through the Battle of Tarlis and its new skins. I, I'm pretty certain these are new skins from before. These are definitely different from what I had seen way before, I'm sure. Last time I played. Oh, so long ago. I don't actually think it was that long, but... I'm pretty certain... Pretty certain the skins are the same. Or different, I mean, new. Better looking. I don't know if uh, that's enough for me to want to play through the whole game again. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm not hunting for... I mean, no, yeah, the achievements were 
we're truly just uh, finishing the game, so. I was gonna say I'm not achieving hunting, so. It won't take as long, but. I guess that's also true. If I just don't finish the game. I will once again point out, if I haven't done so already, this is something that was done or that is offered for free on Steam. You can play this for free if you find it. All you have to do is find it. And you could play this too. So it is pretty neat, I think. Pretty neat that this is being offered free of charge for anybody who just wants to play it. So, to that end, thank you, Slavomir Zhukovsky, for making this game. We are going to... map? Wow, there's still a lot left. Seems to me like level 1 takes the longest just because you're not leveled up yet. But then once you do get leveled up, it gets a little, oh, faster. And then the rest of the games, the rest of the levels are... Get them? Get them? Get okay. And then the rest of the levels are, are just sort of cleanup mode, really. Is what they sort of turn out to be. Yeah, gotta gotta listen for that uh, twanging your bow sound. That's the sound of of we got him. See, got him. Sounds like my bow is breaking, but I got him. That's the sound of clearly. That's the sound of hitting. Arrows on bows, or on bones. Arrows on bones. What do I know? I can't even shoot a bow for real. What would I know about the sound of a bow? Boots? Oops. For some reason, it's really hard for me to wrap my brain around that button combination. I don't know why. Oh, gained a level. Okay. Do I need the life regeneration or the attack speed? What's more important? Oh, what's more important? Well, I feel like if I just have better attack speed, that it won't matter. Right? It just won't matter. If I have better attack speed, it won't matter. How good I am at hitting things, because I'll just be able to hit things faster. This, this game gives me the feelings of playing perfect dark back in the day and because there's clearly an angle of like things can come from below me from to the south of me of my viewpoint and I can't quite see them 
coming as far away as if they were coming from above me to the north of me. And it, it's interesting, it, may, it gives me the feeling of playing Perfect Dark back on the N64. You might wonder how that makes sense. I tell you, it's the, uh, the radar or the map up in the top corner. A lot of that game was spent... I mean, you just learned... You just learned what the map was like. That's it, you just learned what the map was like. Nope, that's not that's not the button combination. That is it. Anyways, you just learned what the map was like. So that you could pretty much traverse the map without having to look at it. At all. It was... I, I, and, and So you would just stare at the radar the entire time. Because you just you could figure out where they were. It's uh, kind of, I get the same feeling at this, because I can't quite tell where the enemy is, or... Yeah, I mean, I can't see them, obviously, if they're coming from below me, so I can just look and see if they're there or alive. Using the lovely handy-dandy radar on the top corner. What a l excellent addition. What an excellent addition to this game. Truthfully, truly. Honest to goodness, I, tell, I kid you not. Actually, truly, I have no idea if that's actually... of any real value in most games, but um, it does, in some special way, make me kind of giddy inside. Uh, just, yeah, having a little bit of a mini-map or a radar like that to see in pretty much any game I play. And that being said, it is also fun to not always be able to see, like, your GPS location. That's... that's fun, too. So it really depends on the game. It really depends on the game you're playing. Got a better chest plate, better use that. Not that anything ever touches me, but you know. Gotta gotta get there. Must have the best equipment possible. Just a moment, I thought to myself, maybe I'll leave these two and maybe I'll let them live. No, they must die too. All right, well, off to the next group of enemies. Tally ho.
So I'm pretty certain these are new skins for these... For some of these things, at least. Maybe not all of them. But I'm pretty certain they're new skins. They might not be. They might be the exact same thing that I saw last time I played this game. In either case... Oh yeah, they look nice. Get them. In either case, they look nice, and, um... Battle of Tarlis is still a free game that you can play on Steam, just as it was before. And for the low, low price of absolutely free, you can play this too. You can also play this. You know, the art style makes me think of um, what I would see in Mount and Blade. It makes me think of... It makes me think of the old Dungeon Siege games. I mean, I, I can see there's a vision behind it. There is a vision behind it. Maybe not so much that I'm going to play this for hours on end at this point. Though, do keep in mind that this has been made by one person. As far as I know, one person has made this game. So. I cut him some slack. Cut him some slack, would you? Really, it's just nice of someone to make a game and let people play it. Well, there you have it. Cool. Uh, well, Battle of Tarlis is still Battle of Tarlis. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be more other things to, uh... Lava goes up to level 10 lava now. I'm not sure if it went up to that before. Or if it went up higher than that. I feel like there were more levels. I don't know. I'm gonna take a quick look here. My camera's gonna go all... Because for some reason, loading is really tough in this game. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just the same. I don't know why the music changes. I don't know why the music changes between opening a map or the actual... I mean, I, I wish there was actual music just for the playing the game. I am going to, I am going to go back to town and Welcome visit the, bye bye. the weaponier. Welcome, traveler. traveler. Bye bye. Hi bye. Bye bye. Welcome, traveler. Hey. All right, so I will bye say bye. It, it does look like perhaps the uh, money has been the gold has been balanced out a little bit. And here's some new things that I see that were not there before. A thief, a guy with better weapons than you would find anywhere else. Some elixirs. These are cool. The elixir of haste is probably pretty nice because it lets you play fast. The gambler, of course, there has to be a gambler who also... I don't know why there's so many options to buy things from people, but cool. Cool. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the follow-up to Battle of Tarlis. I'm going to, again, take a short, short break. Get a little bit more water. And uh, then we're going to play some hockey split, and then we're going to move on from there. Yeah, I'll be back in a little bit.